Hello, my name is Mrs. Pudwell, and I teach fourth grade here at Emanuel Lutheran School. I know that um, when parents look at our school, one of the things they have questions about is surely English. A lot of people haven't even heard of it, and they wonder what that's all about. Well, I absolutely love teaching English, and um, I think surely English is a good way to go. When I taught eighth grade, I would have a number of students come back uh, to visit after they'd gone on to high school. And they would comment how they were um, some of the few students who understood how our language was put together. They could find nouns and verbs and identify adjectives and prepositions and the like. And that's because of the grounding that we have using Shirley English. So what I'd like to do today and in a few subsequent videos is show you the basic uh, questions that we teach our students to ask as they identify seven basic sentence patterns. Now let's talk for a minute about why we study grammar in the first place. I've been teaching for a while, and when I was growing up, I had always heard that school was about the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Lately, I've come to learn that we talk about the three C's. We talk about comprehension, that matches up with reading. We talk about communication, that matches up with writing. And we talk about computation, which matches up with arithmetic. Now, if you think about it, when you were, when you were very young or your children were very young, one of the first things um, that the, the child started to do was to imitate sounds that they heard. But it wasn't too long until we started to teach our children shapes of letters. We taught phonics so that children could match letters with sounds. And we taught spelling so that the children could put those letters in certain orders and make words. And along with that then came the understanding of those words, which we teach in vocabulary. So you see that comprehension piece involves our letter learning, our phonics, our spelling, our vocabulary, our learning to understand that these words have meaning. What I think grammar is about is learning to use those words which do have meaning and to organize those words in a way that we can communicate our thoughts. And that happens in our speech and in our writing. So what Shirley English does is it teaches the children seven basic patterns. I call them the skeletons. And I'm going to take you through those seven basic patterns and show you how they work. And um, well, let's just go on the journey and you'll see what I mean in a moment. Our first pattern, which we start with in first grade, we repeat it many, many uh, chapters worth of every grade level. Um, even all the way into eighth grade, the students spend the first part of the year reviewing pattern one, subject, noun, verb. And the way it works is we have the students read the sentence. So let's start with the easy one. Chipmunks scampered. First of all, you have to know what those words are. You have to recognize that chipmunks are the little animal that maybe is a pest in your garden. You have to understand that the word scampered tells what they're doing. So reading comprehension is already at the basis of our grammar lesson, and the students get to practice the comprehension as they ask questions. The first question always asked is, who or what? And it depends on what the sentence is, and you can finish the sentence. So in our first case, who scampered or what scampered? And the answer is chipmunks, subject noun. And we would label it with an SN, subject noun. The second question then always asked is, what is being said about chipmunks? And when we answer that, we will have already used our answer in the first question. But when we answer that, we say chipmunks scampered. Chipmunks scampered verb. We have no other words in this very short sentence, so we say subject noun verb pattern one, and we would write the pattern, check. We'd go back and make sure everything is marked. 
period, statement, declarative sentence. And we are done. So that's the very basic skeleton of pattern one. Now it's just the bones. We can do all kinds of things. We can add adjectives to describe the chipmunks. We can add adverbs to give us more information about how they scamper or where they scamper or when they scamper. We can add other verbs. And so I've taken this very simple sentence, chipmunks scampered, and I've expanded it. We've put some meat on the bones. And let's see what happens then with that very basic pattern. So we read, two frisky chipmunks danced merrily and scampered around before dark. Now the first sentence question is always who or what. And so I'm going to say what danced and scampered merrily around before dark. My answer is still chipmunks. So chipmunks, subject noun. And then I ask, what is being said about chipmunks? And when I look back, I see, oh, they're doing two things. Chipmunks danced and scampered. Now, we learn a little bit later on that and is a connecting word. It's a conjunction to give us compound verbs. We continue on to, to the end of the sentence. Around. Around is a preposition. And once I find a preposition, I say around what? And I actually just made a mistake because I cannot answer around what. And I find out, no, it looks like a preposition, but it's actually answering the question, where? Chipmunks scampered where? Around adverb. Okay, before. Before it looks like a preposition. Let's ask a preposition question. Before what? Before dark. So, preposition, object of a preposition, we put parentheses around our prepositional phrases. I come back into the sentence, I see merrily. What question could merrily be answering? Chipmunks danced where? No, chipmunks danced how? Chipmunks danced merrily, adverb. Now let's keep coming to the front part of the sentence. What kind of chipmunks? Frisky, adjective. How many chipmunks? Two, adjective. So I have gotten to the front of the sentence. I'm going to come and look at what I have. My pattern is subject noun. I have two verbs, but it's still going to be subject noun verb. Pattern one, I'm going to check. Is everything marked? Yes, I get to the end. Period, statement, declarative sentence. And then I'm going to go back to the verb. I'm going to go back to the first verb. Is there an adverb exception here? No. Is there an adverb right in front of the verb? No. I can use a slash to separate subject from predicate. Now, from there, we can talk about the vocabulary. Uh, we can talk about the meanings of words in these sentences. We can find the simple subject is the subject noun and the simple predicate. Well, we have two of them, uh, danced and scampered. We can identify that chipmunks is plural, and so um, there are a number of things we can do, all working off of the very basic sentence pattern, subject noun, verb, pattern one. The next time I visit with you, I'm going to take you through two more patterns. Um, we will talk about what they are um, the next time. Thank you.